What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news. And the best way to label this video would be quality over quantity, because we don't have a ton of news to talk about, but each part I feel is actually beneficial. I feel like it's pretty good news. And I'm sure some of you are interested in at least one thing in this video, if not more. But before I give you a quick breakdown, if you have a second, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button below. We are nearing in at 95,000 subscribers. So we're getting closer to that 100K milestone. Now, a few highlights in this video. We have another look at the Air Jordan 14, Rip Hamilton, AKA Candy Cane, AKA White Red, and so forth. We also have a release date for the Air Jordan 11 bread. A few more things from Jordan brand, and then Nike, and that's it. But now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. As most of you know, Nike SB has a yearly tradition and they release a shoe inspired by 420. With that being said, it appears that we have our first look at this year's release and I'm not exactly sure how this ties in to 420 just yet. Hopefully Nike SB releases a press release down the line or additional information but here we have the Nike SB Dunk High known as Dog Walker. Now looking a bit closer, it features a Dalmatian-like spotted pattern on the panels. And then we have green suede, which represents grass. Following, we have red nylon, which lands on the Nike swoosh, and that's for a dog's collar. And then we have shades of black and brown in different materials, and that represents different dog breeds. Other details includes a dog bone hang tag, with Sparky engraved, while the outsole is done in white and brown, and that's for stepping in dog poop. Like I mentioned, I'm not entirely sure how this connects with 420. If somebody knows, let me know by dropping a comment below. But for the release information, we don't have much other than they're going to release in April, probably around 420, and no retail price as of yet. Nike Basketball officially unveiled the Nike KD12 and when they did that, they also showcased two upcoming colorways. Reading from their press release, every KD shoe is a balance of comfort and responsiveness. The KD12 achieved that by questioning the norms of shoe construction and turning an often overlooked element into a critical performance driver. That element, the strobel. It's one of the unsung heroes in footwear, says Leo Chang, senior creative director for Nike Basketball Footwear. The structure and support come with limits, because it is inert, the strobel disconnects the athlete from the shoe's responsive cushioning, but by stitching a full-length articulated air zoom bag to the upper, Chang and Nike engineers made the air unit a more dynamic element of the shoe. Experts in manufacturing, design, and testing collaborated to land on the best solution. For example, the shoe's factory manufacturers who typically do the strobel stitching because of the precision needed, help to determine where the air unit needed flexibility. Welded channels, similar to those in the Kyrie 5, were then created in the air zoom bag that would allow it to flex to the movement of the wearer. Because the strobel defines the size of the shoe, there is one air unit for every half size of the KD-12, all the way from size 3.5 to 18, which is Durant's size. That's the most specific air sole size scale that Nike has ever undertaken. They also come with a quad axle flywire for multi-directional containment on demand, a lateral TPU sidewall for stability, and multi-directional articulated traction. Now, both colorways we've actually already seen, but there's additional information as well as release dates. The first is known as the Nike KD-12, the day one. Now, I'm not exactly sure how that nickname ties in, to the KD-12 or Kevin Durant, I'm sure when we get closer to the date, they will officially unveil it, but they come dressed in black, pure platinum, and white. Retail price is $150, and they release on April 6th. Next, we have the Nike KD-12, known as 90s Kid, and easily my favorite of the two. And the inspiration behind this pair is the fact that Kevin Durant is a 90s kid, and he was born during the golden era of basketball. But specifically, this pair also draws inspiration from the Nike Air Command Force. For those interested in purchasing this pair, they drop on April 1st. Retail price is set at 
150. Giannis, aka the Greek Freak, aka I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm not even going to try it, has his own signature shoe coming up. I'm sure most of you already know that, but we could see it release as early as April. Some reports suggested it would take place during the summer, but we're going to talk about the shoes first. So there was an image that leaked, I believe, in August of 2018 which is an early sample of his shoe. So since it's a sample, it could look different, the retail release, but this is what we have to go on for now. There was also some images that leaked that somewhat broke down the Greek Freak 1, also being called the Zoom Freak 1. I kind of believe that Nike's gonna name them the Zoom Freak 1, but we'll find out soon enough about the official naming. As for some of the technology, they're expected to feature a textile upper, double stacked Zoom Air placed in the hill, and a Zoom Air unit in the forefoot. Now we know of two colorways, one will come in black and white, the other will come in white and red. So the white and red is rumored to release in August of 2019, and then the black and white pair is set to drop on July 7th. Now. I'm not entirely sure if those dates are correct or not, but if you do follow Giannis on Instagram, he posted an image with 4 4 obviously April 4th, 2019, and that image is over a unique background that could possibly be the outsole. A lot of people are speculating that that's the date Nike and Giannis will officially unveil his first signature shoe. So more than likely, they're not actually releasing on that date, but they're just going to unveil it and then possibly have a release later this month. Now, the whole release in the summer doesn't really make sense to me since the Milwaukee Bucks are going to be in the playoffs. And just before the playoffs, it would be perfect timing to drop his signature shoe. More than likely, the retail price should be a lot lower than like the KD, the LeBron, we should see it around the PG-3 and the Kyrie 5, maybe even less. Anyways, from this early leaked image of the Greek Freak 1, what are your thoughts on the model? On to Jordan brand, and we have a look at another upcoming Air Jordan 1 low. Now, apparently this is part of a skate pack, more like paying homage to the skate culture and the Air Jordan 1, and for those that don't know, Back in the mid 80s, a lot of skaters wore the Air Jordan 1, but I already showed you the black toe, and then I showed you a gold pair, and then the third pair from the pack is shown. Now, this pair comes in a white, gum yellow, and hyper pink color combination, and it features a beige suede across the upper, while white lands on the tongue and the laces. In addition, black is used on the liner as well as inside of the tongue and the insoles, and then they feature gum yellow across the midsole, and last but not least, what sticks out the most is hyper pink, that runs across the outsole and the Jumpman on the insoles. So this pair doesn't have a set release date. I looked around a little bit online or I ran the product number and I didn't see any retailers that had them available just yet. But apparently they're supposed to drop this summer. I don't necessarily believe that. I think they're gonna come sooner than that. But you should expect them to arrive at retailers soon. And if I forgot to mention, retail price is 110. We have new images of the Air Jordan 11 Low Pink Snakeskin. Now, I've already shared quite a few images, but I wanted to throw these in there, and it really shows off the vibrant pink used. Actually, Jordan Brand's calling it watermelon. Not sure if that really makes a difference. But also, there has been a release date change. Initially, they were set to release on May 4th, I believe, or 5th, one of those days. I'm not entirely sure. But now the release date is set for May 7th. So not a huge change by any means. And retail price is set at 185. Previously, people were stating that they were gonna retail at 175. I didn't believe that as well. So I did make mention on that in the previous video. And if you missed out on that video, again, these will be available in women's sizing. So if you wear a 10 and a half and below, you should be good. In the previous video, we got a first look at the Air Jordan 14 Rip Hamilton, AKA Candy Cane, AKA White and Red, AKA Chicago, a lot of AKAs for this shoe. 
I personally like to call them white and red. I'm really against the whole Rip Hamilton nickname, but I kind of got off track. The previous image was in kid sizing, and the biggest difference we saw from the kid sizing and the OG white and red release of the Air Jordan 14 was the shank plate. The original, it was smooth carbon fiber, and then this retro release was ribbed. Now we have an image of the men's sizing, and it looks like they're going to be exactly like the OG. To me, it's hard to tell, but it looks like it's a smooth carbon fiber. It definitely is on the medial side. It's just kind of hard to tell on the lateral. This definitely looks like the OG pair. So my whole thoughts about the whole Rip Hamilton nickname for this shoe, because this isn't a PE for him. He wore this pair while playing for Connecticut. Now, I don't follow college basketball, but I do know that March Madness begins on March 19th. So I believe that they're going to make the story of this release kind of like, oh, you know, it's for March Madness. Rip Hamilton is still signed to Jordan Brand. He wore this pair back in the day. So just recapping the other important information, they feature a white varsity red, metallic silver, and black color combination. And the release date is April 6th. Retail price will be 190. We're gonna finish this video out with some big news for those that are anticipating the release of the Air Jordan 11 bread. And one of my previous videos, I made mention that Jordan Brand recently had a show for retailers and they would go in to see the holiday 2019 releases, get an idea of what's to come, and then eventually they're going to make their order. And the better news is we have a release date as well as some additional details. As of now, they're set to release on December 14th. Like always, that date could be pushed forward, pushed back. There is a ton of time before December even hits us, and retail price will be 220 Also, they will release in full family sizing. And another question I know I'm going to get asked, and I'm already seeing it around, is if they're going to feature 23 or 45 and to be honest, I'm not entirely sure at this point, but we should be finding out very soon. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. So another leak that I didn't want to really showcase as of yet because I don't have a color description. I don't have any other additional information. All I was told was that there's going to be a what the like Air Jordan 4 releasing holiday 2019. I was also told that there is another Air Jordan 12, but I don't have the color description, so it's kind of pointless as far as to promote that in the beginning of the video or use it on the thumbnail. But I did want to let you guys know because I did tweet about the what the Air Jordan 4, so some of you might be wondering about that, but as soon as I get additional information, I'll make sure to throw that in the upcoming video. And with all that being said, I appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button below. I should have another video tomorrow, so stay tuned to that as well. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.